In this video, I'm going to show you the legendary bounty in Red Dead Online this week that launched on the 5th of November 2019. The target this week is Etta Doyle, wanted for train and coach robbery. To begin the mission to catch her, you need to go to your nearest bounty board in Free Roam to find the bounty poster. The poster states that Doyle is a leader of a gang of women known for terrorising trains and coaches. She dresses in men's clothing, seen in the proximity of Saint Denis, and is identified by a scar on her right cheek obtained during a knife fight. After you select this poster, as usual, you'll then see a cutscene detailing your bounty target. So our old mate from the story mode, Leviticus Cornwall, is back, and Etta Doyle is the one that is terrorising him. In a plan to stop her and her gang from continuing to cause them hassle, they've set up an ambush in Saint Denis, and you're the guy that they've chosen to catch her. So these two dudes tell you to take cover, and tell you that her and her gang tend to dress similarly. So the challenge here is identifying exactly which one Etta Doyle is, so you don't accidentally shoot her. So the best place to take cover here here is up on this little walkway that has various boards that cover it from the side. This little spot on the corner here though with the bags proved most effective for me in this case. Now one important thing to note here is that you're not able to call your horse which means you have to go into the mission with the guns that you've already got on your back and if you've just been hunting and you just quickly selected this bounty poster that is obviously going to be an issue for you. So before you select this poster make sure you change your weapons to ones that you think would be effective for this mission. I opted for a repeater and a bolt action rifle here along with my dual sawn off shotguns. When I carry on playing the later versions of this mission, I am going to bring in a sniper rifle, probably a Carcano rifle or Carcano, however you want to pronounce that, as it's got a better zoom on it, so I'll be able to tell exactly which one is Doyle, so I don't accidentally shoot her like I did here. So there's a few ways that you can play this mission. After your two mates get sparked by the girls, you can let the gang wander around and try and find what they're looking for. But as I'm someone that likes to try and rush my way through things, I found that the best option is just to find one of the four that isn't Etta Doyle and shoot her. This will then spark the remaining three to kick off back at you, as well as all their accomplices that they've got in the area. At this point though, the minimap will change and show you exactly which one Doyle is, with the little skull that's marked here. Now she will leg it immediately, so try and take out the guys that are in this area so you can call your horse jump on it and pursue her in the streets of Saint Denis. I would say as well as the difficulty increases you might want to wait until you take the shot allow her to come deeper into the area so it takes her longer to make her escape on the way back out. So as we're trying to avoid killing Etta Doyle we need to know exactly what she looks like so when she's alongside her accomplices they do look very similar so that's where a scoped weapon will really really help you out here or binoculars if you've got those as well. Obviously, she's got a hat on at the time, which makes it a little bit more difficult to see her hair colour, but her hair colour is exactly what you need to be looking out for. So there are some dark-haired NPCs alongside her, and they're the ones that you want to be shooting. As you can see here, Etador has light hair, so you need to avoid any of her gang members that have light hair, just in case it's actually her. So pick your shot, choose one of the dark-haired members, and let the mission continue from there. As usual, keeping your bounty target alive will get you a better reward at the end of the mission, so try not to kill her. Take out all the gang members that are around her and then lasso her. Tie her up and chuck her on the back of your horse. Now, as the animation for picking up a bounty target is so slow, make sure there isn't anyone right on you when you pick her up and try and put her on your horse. So clear the area of enemies before you go to pick her up. As you progress further through the difficulty levels of this mission from one to five stars, the pursuit through the streets of Saint Denis is going to get more and more difficult, with every gang member taking more bullets to kill and their bullets doing more damage to you as well. So this is where your tonics and your food are really going to come into play. For me, I really enjoyed the bounty this week. It was quite nice to have a situation where you'd set up an ambush and were waiting for the bounty target to come to you rather than you going to try and find them. Let me know what you thought of this mission in the comments below was this your favorite one or do you think this is the worst one that rockstar have done so far i'll be really interested to hear your opinion on this i think it's quite cool that they're tying in cornwall from the story mode i think that's mainly because i'm just so desperate to see some of the story mode characters come back out in red dead online because as we know red dead online is set before story mode takes place so that is possible so fingers crossed Arthur and the boys will pop up at some point. If you enjoyed this video or it's helped you out, then please give it a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. I recently did a conversation podcast style video with Hazard and Pineapple in which we discussed the new roles that we might see come to Red Dead Online in the future. If you like that sort of thing, then that's linked on the screen now. Thanks for watching. I'm Jane Cookie. Cheers.